look at this lighting here. But anyways, hi everyone, I'm Brianna Gorski and welcome to my channel where we talk all things manifestation, mindset, self-development, and I do little vlogs and travel vlogs here and there. And today I'm going to be talking a little bit about how the heck you let go of your manifestation to allow it to come in. You know, you have to not obsess over your manifestation to let it come in. And this is genuinely one of the hardest things to do. I feel like at least cause I'm literally like a Gemini rising and like I'm Mercury ruled. So like, I think a lot, I talk a lot. It's kind of hard not to get obsessed, right? <clears throat> and I also have ADHD, anxiety, OCD, and probably autism a little bit. So it just makes it way more hard. Okay. I'm just looking so good right now. I can't stop looking at myself. So how do we not obsess over our manifestations? Well, there's so many different ways you could do this. Um, I'm just going to share with you what has worked for me. And I'm going to be real, as, as real as possible with you about these things. Okay. So number one um, is genuinely just to like, correct yourself so if it does come up if you are thinking about your manifestation what i want you to do is make sure you're thinking correctly about it in the sense of like if it comes up in your head and you're doubting yourself that you have it you have to correct yourself and say like if you're trying to manifest money and a thought comes comes into your head like oh i don't have enough money for that i don't have enough money mm -mm. you catch yourself and say no i can afford this i'm rich I have money. I'm a money magnet. You know, every time you catch yourself doubting, you want to rephrase it to rewire your subconscious mind to truly believe that you have that. The next thing you can do is to distract yourself. I'm going to give you guys a few ways you could do that because honestly, some of these methods work really well. They just do. You kind of have to find a way to distract yourself from your manifestations because you're not doing yourself any good just sitting there or doing whatever and just thinking about this, 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 how do I do this? How do I do that? If you're obsessing over it, you're not helping yourself because if you're obsessing over your manifestation, you're affirming the lack mindset. And we don't want that, you know? That is not something we want. No. Today, I literally, well, yesterday I figured out something that works for me, and that is playing Minecraft. Literally just play Minecraft if I really don't have anything to do. Like, I've got everything done that I need to do. I've posted videos, blah, 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 blah. I've done what I need to do, and I'm just sitting there doing nothing and just scrolling endlessly on my phone. I was like, mm, I could be just doing something better because I'm literally trying to manifest, like, you know, being famous on TikTok, right? Being famous in general. And I keep obsessing over the numbers, right? I keep obsessing over how many followers, how many views I get, how many subscribers I have, right? When literally, I'm not helping myself by checking every hour to see what's gone up or not. I have already been posting consistently and all that. It's just the mindset that needs to be worked on. And I'm never going to manifest it if I'm just looking at my phone, scrolling, 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 checking. Every time I see a new, like the notification bubble go up, I go check. I don't need to be doing that. And I did everything else I needed to do. So what did I do? I played Minecraft. You could do whatever you want to do. You could play The Sims. Sims is fun. Like, this is the thing. You don't need to... You can be doing so much other stuff than just obsessing over your manifestations. Literally just distract yourself. You could distract yourself by playing a video game. And if you want to be doing something a little more productive, you could work on something that you've been wanting to do. Like I could be playing the guitar, practicing my guitar instead of Minecraft, which I probably will do. I did that a few days ago. Um, you could learn a new language. Are you going, or do you want to have like a European summer? Learn French, learn Italian, literally do what you got to do. Like there are so many things you could be doing to distract yourself from 
your manifestations from obsessing over them. And you can also be productive and help yourself along the way. Like you don't just have to like distract yourself by playing Minecraft. You could if you want to, you could play video games, You, but you could also do something like more productive. If you wanted to catch up on movies that you haven't seen, but you want to and they're on your list, you could do that. Same with books. You can read some books you've wanted to read. All of these things are things that you can do to distract yourself from your manifestation. Because sometimes, like, like I said, it's hard not to obsess and you just need something to do. And I get that sometimes when I'm doing this, it's like, oh, but if I'm not, if I'm not focused on trying to become famous, and I do this, aren't I technically sidetracking? No, no, because I'm already putting in the work. I'm consistently posting TikToks and everything. The only thing that I'm not doing is obsessing. The time that I spend scrolling on social media, just waiting to see my follower count blow up, I don't need to be doing that. And by doing that, I kind of eliminate like a few hours in the day to just do something that I really want to do, you know? Something that I want to learn that's actually me being productive, you know? I wanna have more fun, I wanna have time to play games. There I am playing Minecraft. There's always room to make time. And you're kind of like killing two birds with one stone here. Do you know what I'm saying? You could work out if you wanna work out more. You could go for a walk. These are literally all ways that you can distract yourself from your manifestation. And if you're not thinking about your manifestation, but you've already set the intention, you've already put action towards it, you just have to wait for it to come in. Now that you've done the action, you've set the intention, you just gotta wait. And remember, still reprogramming your mind if you catch yourself thinking, you know, re rewire, so like, no, I am famous. Because when I'm famous, I'm not gonna stop playing Minecraft. Mm -mm -mm. No. See, it still aligns with my future goal. You guys get what I'm saying? I'm kind of going on a tangent here, but like, whatevs, it's fun. It's for funsies. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope this video was like really helpful to y'all. And I hope you guys have an amazing day. You guys gotta slay the day away. Okay, bye-bye.